Oke, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Honorable Mr. Henry Saputra MPD as a lecturer of English literature and all my beloved classmates. First of all, we are from the sixth group and would like to deliver our presentation about teaching the novel. As you can see in our textbook, chapter 12, page number 301 to 326. But before uh, we start today's presentation, let's say Basmalah first. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Um, well, let me introduce our member. There are me, Kirsa Belinga, and Desi Sari Cahyani, Andri Evitri, and Sufa Aprilia. And in this occasion, we will discuss about teaching the novel, the novel, uh, the intrinsic elements of novel, the, the extrinsic elements, the perspectives, and the differences between novel and short story. Well, the first uh, metry will will be delivered by me, Firsta Belinga. I will talk about the intrinsic elements of novel. An intrinsic element is a builder element of literature that can be found in the literary text itself. There are intrinsic element in, elements in novel. The first one is setting. Setting is the background in which story takes places, such as place, time, climate, or weather, and lifestyle. Place is the, the geographical location of the story, and time is reversed to the period of the story. Climate or weather is an aspect of setting that is often forgotten, but it can be important to the novel. And then lifestyle is reversed to the daily life of the characters. The second one is characters. Characters are the people animals or etc who take play take part in the action of the story uh, this there are several aspects of characters include physical appearance this is based on information given by the author or the narrator and then personality personality is delineated through the characters thoughts words and deeds through the narrator's descriptions and through what other characters say. And the next is round or flat. This is uh, round characters is fully developed by the author experiences, significant changes throughout the novel. And a flat character has hardly any develop development whatsoever and experiences little to no change. And protagonists, antagonists and tertiary characters. Protagonist is the main characters in a novel, um, and antagonist is the fourth person or person in conflict with the protagonist. And tertiary characters are the third most important characters in the story. They pop up in one or two sen uh, scenes, uh, say one or two lines, then they are gone. But that doesn't mean they are not important. And the next is plot. Plot is the storyline or ordered arrangement of incident in a story. Plot itself has five parts. The first one is exposition. Uh, exposition is a setting forth of meaning or intent. The background information needed to understand the character and the action. And then a rising action. This is the events of the narrative plot that precede the climax. And then climax. Climax is a moment of great intensity in a narrative, especially the conclusion of a crisis, the turning point in a plot. And then um, falling action. Falling action is the events of a narrative plot that follow the climax. And the last is resolution. Resolution is the part of literary work in which the complication of the plots are resolved or simplified. Okay, the fourth intrinsic element of the novel is conflict. Conflict is the struggle between uh, opposing forces in the story. Conflict provides interest and suspense. There are various types of conflict, which can usually be categorized as one of the following. The first is characters versus nature. 
this is a character struggling against nature and the second was the second one is characters versus character this is a struggle between two or more characters and the third is character versus society this is a struggle between the main characters and some aspect of society and the last is character versus self this is a struggle of opposing opposing forces within one characters and the and number five is point of view point of view is the perspective from which the reader views the action and characters there are three major uh, types of point of view the first one is first person per first person is uh, one character narrates the story and the second is second person this is the reader is addressed directly by the narrator and the third person is outside narration that focused on one character's observation and the next intrinsic elements is theme theme is the central idea in the novel it is the author's message and one of the reasons that they wrote in the book the theme can usually be expressed in a statement about human nature life or the universe well i think that's all from me um the intrinsic elements of the novel will be continued by desi sari cahyani time is yours okay thank you moderator uh, so i will continue first traveling uh presentation about the intrinsic elements of the novel the seventh mood mood is atmosphere or feeling of a story the emotional quality that the story gives to the reader this usually evolved by setting and like the setting mentions throughout the novel the novel may open with this mood glow light careful carefree mood and etc a mandate mandate is a moral message that the author or author wants to convey to the reader the message is usually conveyed implicitly or explicitly okay next well uh, the next material the next material is the extrinsic elements of the novel Extrinsic elements in the novel are the elements that are beyond the novel, but it doesn't directly affect the system organism literature. More especially, more specifically, the, the extrinsic elements in novel can be regarded as an element gold a novel. Extrinsic factors are the literary elements, the factors which are found outside the literary works, but it but it in the structure of the little works. As we can see in here, first, author's life. The part of author's life is also influenced the settings and plot of the story. The author's situation or what the author was experiencing now also affect the story making. They would be able to describe the storyline with details because they had experienced this kind of situation. When making a literary work, the author could reflect back to their life. This is the author's life part. Second, historical background. Historical background might be described by the flow of the story. It could be shown by a timeline too. The historical background can be the history or the past of the setting the story was. It could also show the development or improvement of a certain thing or condition. Describing the historical background might also be used to send message to make readers realize the mistake and take action to fix bad record. The third is cultural background. The cultural background inside the story may also connect to the other's life. As for example, the author's cultures may be mixed into the story. It might display the life of historical event in the country or area that the author lived by. 
The cultural background may also refer to the setting and the plot of the story. It depends on where the story takes can text scene. And the last, fourth, social background. The story depends on the social background of the author. They will probably wrote something that com connects to the community around them. It could also be the social problem that was happening on the world or the social organization inside a certain country. Social background can also be used to describe a person biography and how it affects their life nowadays. I think that's all. Back to the moderator. Okay, thank you, Desi, for your explanation. And the next topic will be delivered by Andri Evitri. Time is yours. Okay, thank you, moderator. I will explain the material about the purpose the perspectives of the novel. Perspective is how a story is presented to readers. A character's background shapes the lens through which they see the world, which influences how they view and recount events a story. There are four perspectives in novel. The first, a textual perspective. Textual perspective defines how the spirit parts of a text are related it to its overall form and ultimately to its overall meaning. The most straightforward way to begin an analysis is to ask the students to consider the ways in which events in the next are configured. In other words, how do the events in a novel constitute a pattern and what does the pattern suggest? And second, the social perspective. Social perspective defines the social relationship with the novel. An attempting to understand the social relationship among the characters. Readers begin to think the talks of another person as their own talks. Talks that are different from their own usual way of thinking. Next, the third, a cultural perspective. Cultures consist of characters, developments as shaped by social institutions that reflect and embody cultural values. From this perspective, individual characters are socialized to adopt certain cultural values which they might accept or reject. And the last, a typical perspective. A typical perspective to the novel, we are applying what we know about certain topics or disciplines to their reading. In exploring different topics, we might unveil our disciplinary perspectives. Okay, in this for to the moderator. Okay, the la thank you, Andri Evitri. And the last mater material will be delivered by Sofa Aprilia. Time is yours. Okay, thank you. Matter between novel and short story. First, the length of the story. Novel to be told properly. Short story is to be quickly wrapped up. Second, the short story is any work of narrative and from thousand to ten thousand words. Third, type of story. A longer story requires a, like, a larger or more complex idea to sustain that length. The next month time trees tend to cover of a shorter period than novels. Next subplots, the short story tends to take less time, following just a single thread and rarely features more than a single subplot novel. By contrast, my burst with subplots, the last number of characters. Novels often have larger cast of highly developed characters. Short stories generally feature fewer characters or even just one main characters. Okay, thank you very much. Back to the moderator. Okay, thank you to Sulfa Aprilia. And 
All right, the whole presentation has come to an end and we are so thankful for your great attention. And if you have some something or anything to ask, please leave on the comment section below. And we're so sorry for the mistakes that we made while the presentation is running. Uh, see you guys on the next meeting. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.